Hi guys, after watching today's video, you will never go back to the way you were dancing before. Like you'll be so much more confident at any party. And just a quick note, if you need more help with this, inside my online program, I help hundreds of beginners go from the sidelines onto the dance floor, people who have never been able to feel confident dancing in public or they were avoiding it, they start to go out and enjoy themselves on the dance floor. So if you need more help, link to work with me is below. And I will actually show you a concrete example example of how I take a boring looking basic movement and I'm going to turn it into a movement that looks good on anyone and you'll be able to do it as well so stay tuned. The confidence that you have on the dance floor it comes from being comfortable with what you're doing so you always want to practice the movement beforehand before you do it in front of other people before you do it on the dance floor. Every movement has to be practiced don't just expect that you will be at a party you're doing something that's new for you and it's going to look amazing and you're going to feel confident it's not going to happen. The more you practice each movement, the more reps you do, the more natural the movement will look on you. That's always the case. It's all about the repetition. And you will notice it, let's say, if you practice a new movement for a couple of hours or a few days, and then you do it at a party in front of other people, the confidence will go out the window because it's still too early for this movement to feel natural in your body. You will still be second guessing yourself and that will prevent you from actually enjoying yourself. And another thing is when you practice the movement at home, let's say with a tutorial, don't just kind of sort of do the movement, because again, if you're not sure if you're doing it correctly, you will start second guessing yourself when you're on the dance floor. You want to be as precise as possible, meaning break the movement down, try to get as many details of it as you can. That's why you notice I talk a lot in my tutorials because I'm trying to give you as many details as possible, but you want to be sure that you're doing everything how it's shown, because that will help you feel confident later when you do this movement in public. Because think about it, if you're practicing a movement and you're doing it incorrectly or just like faking it almost, doing it sort of correctly, you're doing more damage than good. <laughs> like you will still not look good doing that same movement on the dance floor. So always practice in a very specific way. Number two, before you take a movement onto the dance floor, make sure you know how to use it, how to incorporate it into your freestyle and how to do it correctly. So instead of just going through the motions and kind of doing the movement in isolation, you have to be sure that you can match it correctly to the beat. You have to make sure you can move two, three, four different body parts at the same time to make the movement look relaxed and to be able to do it effortlessly. So you have to have rhythm, you have to have coordination, otherwise you won't know how to use this movement uh, when you're dancing. If you need help with this, link is below to work with me. We can build those skills. And another thing you have to be able to do that you can practice at home is knowing how to transition in and out of a specific move. So when you learn a new movement, it's not enough that you can just do this one movement and, and nothing else. You have to know what to do before it and what to do after and transition in and out smoothly. So you have to practice the transitions as well. I hope that's making sense. Not just the move in isolation, but how you will use it when you're on the actual dance floor. Because it will never be the case where you go onto the dance floor, you do one step for like 30 seconds, and then stop and think, what else do I do, right? It has to all flow together. So practice the way you're going to be doing it on the dance floor. Okay, once the movements are ready, once you practice them, once you can do them correctly. Number three, you have to move with intent and energy. Because if you're doing any movement, doesn't matter if it's basic or even advanced, you're doing it with low energy, kind of like looking like you're falling asleep, um, not really enjoying what you're doing, that's how other people will, will perceive it, right? We, we can see the energy you're putting into whatever you're doing, including the movements. And it doesn't apply just to party dancing. If you think about watching, let's say, TikTok, and you see those TikTok dancers doing the moves, nobody's doing them half asleep. You always gravitate and you will always like the people who put effort into what they're doing. They're smiling, you have 
You can see they have great energy, they're entertaining, um, they look like they are enjoying what they're doing, right? And that comes not from the moves, but that can come from us. Like we have to make those movements, any movements look appealing. So that means we are responsible for adding the intent and energy. And I'll show you exactly how to do it so that you can apply it to any movement you will ever do on the dance floor and then see how it changes everything. <laughs> you will enjoy them more as well. You want to think of energy as like the extra power that like oomph that we add to the movements. I'll show you in a minute how to take a boring move and gradually add those little details to it to make it look better. Very simple thing you can do without any practice really is adding the smile. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter how beginner level you are. When you add the smile to the movements, it automatically relaxes the movement because smiling makes everything look better. You probably will notice that I smile whenever I dance. I smile whenever I, you know, teach in those tutorials. That's because I know the movements will look so much better and you don't need to practice smiling. Like anyone can do that. So this is the first thing you can start doing even today to make your movements look better and to look more confident. Another thing that helps is lip syncing because a lot of times when you're a beginner, when you're on the dance floor, you know, you're so focused, you're thinking about how to do the movements, but once you already know how to do the move, because again, we practiced, remember, then if you add a little lip syncing, what it does is it shows that you're enjoying the song and it shows that you're not overthinking and being in your head and worrying about how do I do the movement? How do I match it to the beat? All of those things that people would notice. So it's very helpful, especially if you know the song, maybe even part of the song, like you don't have to lip sync the entire time, but add it from time to time and you'll see how it changes the move. And in this video, you can see how my client did that and how it changed the whole look. Like it looks so much more entertaining to watch her enjoy herself dancing then when she wasn't lip syncing, when she wasn't smiling. It's a totally different energy. And one more tip before we dance, we're going to add the arms because arms add confidence as well. The simplest movement that I like to use, because again, it's not a dance move, bring the arms up and down, even just a little bit. Doesn't matter how, doesn't matter the pathway, just slowly up, slowly down. The trick here is to do it in a decisive way not timid way. If you do it in a timid way, it will make the movement look less confident. So you want to do it with intention and you don't have to add the arms to every move. What I would do if I was just starting out, I would kind of mix and match those little tips that I gave you. So for a part of the song, I would smile. For another part of the song, I would move the arms. Then I would lip sync. You don't have to do it all at once. You can mix it up as well. Let me show you. We're going to take a simple move. I'm gonna do like a little dip motion, show you the hips. It doesn't matter what movement you're doing because it can be applied to anything. And I'm going to slowly like gradually build it up to show you those changes. Again, you can apply these tips to every single movement that you're learning. So anytime you're learning something from me, from my channel, build each movement like that. Add those step-by-step -step tips, energy, smiling, lip syncing, arms, and of course, practice, practice, practice. And I guarantee you will look so much more better, so much more confident when you're doing those movements on the dance floor. You will look like you're enjoying yourself. Let me know in the comments if this video was helpful. Should I create more videos like that? Uh, what else you'd like to see on my channel? And again, a reminder, if you don't want to do this on your own, if you need a system, if you want to learn with my personalized feedback and help every step of the way, I can take you from the beginner, somebody who doesn't enjoy dancing in public at weddings, parties, club, to somebody who cannot wait to go out and dance with their friends, loved ones. So if you're interested in my help, book a call with me. It's a free strategy call and we're going to see what you need help with specifically and I'll be able to guide you on next steps. That is it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.
Bye.